Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 4 Part 241, and in this segment I'm going to be using the Pontiac Fiero GT, because it's a silly car. It's a fucking mid-engine Pontiac. It's, 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 the, it's the Pontiac Ferrari cross mashup we never asked for, I don't fucking know. Anyways, E-Class International Tour is what we're doing here, so, yeah. Here's our uh, drive lineup, and here's our seven race venues. So, without further ado, let's get started with our first race at Laguna Seca. Alright, well, let's see how this Fiero does against all these other cars. Will it do good? Will it do bad? I don't fucking know. We're about to find out together. Well, naturally, I get the good launch, because I... Uh, Thank you for that, Weber. I appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Oh my god! Welcome to Blind AI. How are you today? Jesus Christ. Okay, well, um... We're off to a wonderful start here. Holy shit. Ah, ooh, ye, okay. Red, everything's fine. We're okay. This is a horrible friggin' start, but we're okay. Oh, Jesus, okay. Oh, well, okay. Hi, Esposito. I swear to fucking God. Better stay out of my way. There's an FBR X7 in a barn less than a mile from your house. Dude, barn find! Bro! No, no, no. Anyways. Excuse me, Yoshida. I have places to be and races to win. Ah. Uh -huh. Been benching my stream archives. You mean people actually watch those? What? I'm thoroughly shocked. Oh my, Esposito! Okay. Well then. So, this first lap was fucking terrible. Absolutely fucking terrible. But I think I still have a shot to win here. So, let us move on and continue, and I see Rossi. Oh, by the way, Rossi's back. Hello, Maria. How are you today? Oh, hello, Fiero. I don't know how to drive you. That wasn't even the car thing that happened there. That was just me, like, not knowing how to steer things. I better fucking be able to catch Taylor up there. Or I'll be not happy. Ooh, sh Nike's big slide around six, okay. And lose a ground. the DLC for this game? No, I don't. I have, like, a lot of it, but I don't have all of it. I fucking turned 10, I swear to God. I keep forgetting Laguna Seca turn 10 is like, hey, they like to stop. And it's just, mmm. Mm. 
I'm having a hell of a time driving this car. I think it's just because I've been playing a Forza game that isn't this one last night. So I finally started playing through Horizon 2. Now I'm going back to this and it's just like, ah! Am I going to play the new Midnight Club? Well, considering nothing has been actually uh, officially announced about there even being a new Midnight Club, therefore I'm going to shoot down any and all rumors and as false. Um, yeah. All I'm going to say is I'm not believing anything about a possible new Midnight Club unless I hear something from Rockstar themselves. Because right now all I'm seeing is speculation and people believing speculation. I'm not saying I don't want a new Midnight Club because I'd love to see a new Midnight Club game, but... I'm not even going to begin believing that it's going to be a thing until I, you know, until it's like an official, official thing. <clears throat> until then, people, I guess, can continue believing false rumors because, you know, they're blinded by their desire. Thunder talk about in Grid. I haven't seen the most recent video, so, yeah. But still. Unless it is proven to be true, I'm going to believe that it's false. Like, all these rumors are just false rumors and shit. Also, hi, Taylor. I sure have caught you quicker than I was expecting. How the heck you doing, bruh? up the inside, outbreak, slide job. He's got to run, so it's not over yet. And now, there we go. He took the wrong line to turn six, and therefore he had to stop his car. So, A. around the corkscrew. I like this Fiero. It's such a silly car. <clears throat> like, it's literally just like a Ferrari with Pontiac styling, basically. At least that's how it feels to me. Final lap here. I have a comfortable advantage over Taylor. If I played any of the grid games on my channel, on my channel, no. But I played the shit out of all three. I might have a stream archive of a couple of, of like, maybe Auto Sport. I don't know. But yeah. Although I do have grid game play in my, I think it was my 10,000 uh, subscriber Q&A, so there's that. But that's about it. Yeah, poor man's Ferrari, pretty much. I really want an LP 
copy a grid sometime soon. But I won't be able to, because I got all... I, I want to, like, LP every game immediately. You know how I am. Just gotta take it one at a time. And be angry with myself that I can't... That I'm not a Time Lord and can do everything at once. Coming to the line to finish race number one. And set my best lap on the last lap. As I do. Ended up winning by eight seconds over Taylor. Damn. Weber in third. Esposito beating Rossi for fourth. Tanaka in sixth. Alright, well, there's one race down for the Fiero. Looks like, eh, I won't have too difficult a time with it. Damn, oh well. Okay, here we go, race number two in... Indianapolis. Is that annoying enough? Do I need to hold it longer next time? Anyways, this is an interesting gauge cluster on this thing. It looks like an aircraft. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm dumb and think dumb things when I see things. Oh god, I'm getting punted. Okay, hello, Taylor. Turn one argy bargy, you know. Did the usual. Did I like playing Corvette on my channel? Well, yeah. I enjoyed the game a lot. It's not a very good game, but I still enjoyed playing it. Especially since I played it with my wheel, because it's like, hey, let's play a low budget arcadey racing game on the PS2 with a fucking Logitech G27s. What could possibly go wrong? The answer is not much. Surprisingly. Corvette game on GBA. I played on PS2. I never played a Game Boy Corvette game. Oh, hello, Maria. Okay, no lead yet. Soon, though. Also, long fourth gear, how you doing? Am well, I gonna play Underground 2? Eventually. Basically, when I get tired of, like, fucking with people who keep demanding it. Excuse me. Holy crap. My favorite car, Dodge Viper. Just all of them. Hello, Maria. Like, I'm just on a first name basis with Rossi now. It's just like, oh, hey, it's a woman. Ha ha ha. Anyways. I must continue, like, fucking letting people know that I know that it's a woman. Ha uh, ha. Uh, well, like, never ever. Shut up, Q. Don't reveal my secrets. I'll banish you to the Shadow Realm if you keep revealing my secrets. Well, I play myself. I'll play with myself all the time. <laughs> and masturbation joke, anyways. No, I got the lead from Rossi. And, uh... 
Fierro out. And already three seconds ahead of Rossi. Nice. So we just cruise along here in Indianapolis. S2K, dude, I wish I had an S2K. I really like the S2K a lot. Either that or an MX-5. Those are like be those are like my two dream cars when it comes to daily drivers. Either an MX-5 or an S2K. Hey Denny. Honestly, an MX-5 would be a fun track car as well, because, you know, MX-5 Cup and stuff. Two to go. What's good? This Pontiac Fiero, mate. Oh, fuck. That works, I guess. Seven seconds up on Rossi now, damn. Fiero too strong. Shifting is probably a good idea. She's trans now. No, nah, just a woman. I am checking the chat. Both of them. Ooh. Well, Top Gear wasn't shit. I too remember the most recent season of Top Gear. Car I'm driving, Pontiac Fiero GT. No, that is way too wide. That's big ass four wheel slide. Because Q, everyone is trans. Everyone. Yeah, 
the American Ferrari knockoff. Yeah, welcome to Sept 2017. Where all women have penises and all men have vaginas and everyone is, uh, s scum. And something, something patriarchy, uh, kill the whites. Etc. Anyways, uh, hello, Dominant Victory. <laughs> um, oops. I mentioned this fear might be a little, uh, too strong. <laughs> too fast, too strong. Now we wait. Uh, 15 seconds. So for Rossi. Whoops. Oh well. So two races down, five to go. Oh boy. Okay, race three, Silverstone. Yay. My favorite is to places. Anyways, four laps around Silverstone. So here we go. Oh god, multiple choice question. Uh, I don't know. I'll just take all of the above. Of those cars. I probably would anyways. Oh, I'm getting out accelerated by a beetle. In my faux Rari. Anyone who's played tabletop racing world tour knows what I'm talking about. Here, Rossi. <clears throat> okay. Not gonna go for the dive just yet. Felt like it wasn't just wasn't gonna work out. So, I'll try to pass her at a different spot. I shit. I was not expecting to close on her that quickly in that corner. Are we carrying enough momentum to swoose? Yes, we are. The good old swoose corner. Never fails. Nice. Did I have fun driving the SRT Tomahawk X. It sure was an experience. That thing was fucking mental. Hi, JC. Okay, one lap down, three to go. I already have the lead, so basically, yeah. Very shittily. Very, very shittily. Oh my god. 
The car just kept understeering. It would not stop. <clears throat> oh shit, here comes Rossi. Not enough, to, though. If I had a choice, we get a Ferrari Dino or a 458. Uh, yes. The answer is yes. What is an apex? I sure don't know. I can't seem to hit them. I like that tower there. It's... I'm sure it's used for something, but I like how it's just there. On a scale of one to Bill Cosme, how much of the pudding do you have? Oh, I got the pudding. Oh. Uh, I can't do a Bill Cosme impression, I'm sorry. That was fucking beyond awful. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna fucking retcon my entire life. Who to go at Silverbone? Oh shit. JC with the fucking super chat. I thank thee. Josh-wise to Richard Petty, how well do I drive my car? Uh, I'd say about a Stephen Wallace. Yeah, that sounds about right. <clears throat> Got a nice three-way battle for a second there. Going on behind me. <clears throat> Favorite Sonic couple? Uh, molten Lava and My Face. No. We- no. Nope, 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 we're not going there. Oh my Jesus. That was an absolutely terrible turn, okay. The Sphero does not like being stable in second gear. Jim Sterling and everyone else in Doomfist. Ha ha ha. Memes. Anyways. Speaking of Overwatch, I really, like, I sh A, should play it again, and B, I really want that fucking Dad 76, new Dad 76 skin. 
Oh shit, another super chat, thank you. I can't fucking read it though, because I have dark YouTube. What do I drive in real life? I drive a 98 Buick Skylark. Nothing special. It's a car that gets me from point A to point B and then back to point A. Without any issues. I've seen it. I haven't really seen much of, like, the new Overwatch shit. I've just, like, seen a few of the skins. Mostly 76, because his is the only skin that matters. I would fucking main 76 with that skin. Not gonna lie. It's so good. Reaper skin matters. Yeah. Fucking edgy, man. Edge dude with the edge suit. Also, hey, I went in Silverstone. That's the thing that just happened. Only eight seconds this time. So, you know. A. And Rossi managed to hold off the two yellow birds. Haha. Uh -huh. I like how both the yellow drivers and then all three of the orange cars finished together. Nice. Fucking cool. Anyways, to race four. Alright, anyways, time for race number four here at Suzuka. So, without further ado, off we go. Four laps around Suzuka. Love this track. I hate Sonic fan base. Trust me. So do I. This is coming from a huge Sonic fan. I hate the fan base so much. So much. So many furries. How you doing, Yoshida? Anyways, enough about that. Let's focus on the task at hand, which is passing Rossi almost immediately, which means I'm probably going to win by, like, fucking 20 seconds here. I'm getting some Gran Turismo 3 flashbacks. Where it's like, no matter how hard I try, I still end up winning each race by 20 fucking seconds. about the, uh, the Maria Rossi thing. It's like, whoa, hey, uh, turn 10? <laughs> okay, fuck yeah, this is cool. Also, this is a bombshell. Like, the first thing I thought of when I saw that, it's like, oh, Rossi is a woman this whole time. I thought of Metroid. And like, you know, the end of Metroid 1, where it's like, Samus is actually a girl. <gasps> 
Speed of Forza 7, I'm really, like, looking forward to that game. I really am. But there's also a couple other games coming out before that that I'm really looking forward to. Namely one that's coming out in, like, just five days at the time of this recording, and that's Sonic Mania. Oh my god, I can't wait to play that fucking game. I'm going to play the shit out of that game. And it's gonna be glorious. And I'm gonna have a big shit-eating grin on my face the entire time, most likely. Oh my god. What's up, boys? Welcome to D1 Silver... Er, Silverstone Suzuka. Hey, sweet. <clears throat> ah, yee. Thought Knuckles was female until he actually watched, started watching the anime. Oh, well then, it is interesting. <laughs> Whoops, that was the complete wrong way to take that kink. Turned him way too soon. His name start with the L. I just noticed that all the top, all the uh, rest of the top four start have the first initial of M. Nice, fucking nice. Hey, Harry. That is beautiful. I didn't notice that was the thing happening right now. Only my name started with an M, then it'd be perfect, but no. My middle name starts with an M, does that count? <laughs> not going to make the chicane. Okay, I made the chicane. Never mind. I thought for sure I was going to go flying off into the sticky uh, astroturf or whatever the fuck. Okay, two to go. That's stone... Or God damn it, I keep wanting to say Silverstone. It's fucking Suzuka. Holy shit. How am I getting this amazing track confused with a shitty track? Like, fucking hell. Got magic grass. Fucking gorilla glue grass. You know, what, you know what thought just popped into my head? Someone should make a mod of Suzuka in like some kind of pe in some kind of racing game. I don't care what game it is. Of the uh, the version of Suzuka that um, Southpaw Racer made in his Rona Track series. Cause I want to fucking suffer. I'm excited for Suzuka coming back in Forza 7. I'm more excited for Maple Valley returning. Because Maple Valley is, like, such a great track. I 
can't wait to see it in Ultra HD, even though I'm probably going to be playing in 720p because that's because of my capture card's limitations. I mean, it can record in 1080p, just not 60fps, so, you know, penis. See us, we? Okay, much smoother entry into the chicane this time. No, uh fear of going f spearing off the track. Oh, that's the Zuka from Tourist Trophy. Eh, that chicane was weird. Oh, hey, K-Boys. Welcome to the final lap at Suzuka. with my very big Lee lead. It's still the M show behind me. There's the sun. Look at it glow. Blinding my eyes. Am I no chat on stream anymore? I had just way too much cluster going on on my screen. Don't really need it. Plus having two chats is like, eh, that create even more cluster and just I'd rather not have to deal with that. So, yeah. The light that blinds, basically. No, the light. But my kingdom hearts, my darkness, etc. Yeah, I have YouTube chat open again. Oh, shit. I fucked up 130R. Okay. We're good. Everything's fine, though. I, I did a recover. Okay, and off the final turn... And yay, we're past halfway through this segment. You two chat, I'm like normie chat. This ain't chat for normies. Car I had the most fun driving in Forza 1 five minute drive. Fucking, I don't know, probably the Ferrari 333. Just because how ridiculously fast it is. There we go. One by fucking 17 seconds over Rossi. Nice. Aw, Taylor. Nakamura. You ruined the M show. Oh well. Anyways, to race five. Alright, here we go. Race five at Sebring International Raceway for three laps. So off we go. Esposito trying to block me off the line because he's Esposito and he's a massive cunt. How do I feel about Pontiac? I like Pontiacs, but um, from personal experience, fr from 
of my family members and stuff, uh, they seem to be very unreliable cars. They're nice to look at, though. Sorry for asking so many questions. That's eh, fine. I mean, that's basically what, you know, the streams are for. It's just to chat and or ask any questions. As long as it's not stupid and annoying. CSR racing games planned. What's CSR? Isn't that a, uh... Isn't that a mobile racing game? If so, uh, pff, no. Isn't that just a drag racing game as well? If so, hell no. Excuse me, Rossi. How you doing? What is up, Maria? How you fucking fucky fucky? Oh shit, what am I doing? Too busy trying to look at what's going on behind me. I forgot to worry about what's going on in front of me. AKA we're left. You know, the direction I'm driving. Uh, what I meant by family experience cables is like, Many people in my family have owned Pontiacs, and they've all had problems with said Pontiacs. Then again, they've all owned Grand Ams and Grand Prix, so maybe it's just the Grand Line. Ugh, fucking NASCAR on PS3 and 360, fuck that game. Even with the fucking, uh, even with, like, my wheel, that game is garbage. It could just because, it could be just because in my case I'm like, you know, cheating to be able to use my wheel and not like, yeah, but still. Favorite Corvette, can't say C7, C6, or C5, okay, um, yes, the answer is yes, C1 all the way to C7, I don't fucking know. Actually, my favorite Corvette's probably the C4 Grand Sport. Or the C7 Grand Sport. So is it 7 or 6? I can't remember. No, C4 Grand Sport. And it's back to NASCAR 08, yeah. Um, HD version sucks. PS2 version, however, is pretty good. Pretty good. Plus it has modifies as well. Yeah, it's like, what's your favorite car? But you're not allowed to pick these. What? <laughs> Fucking normie chat. The worst racing game, in my opinion? Um... Well, you know, uh... Not counting, like, games like Big Rigs and all the really shitty indie kart racers that have just saturate steam. Uh, Need for Speed 2015. Absolutely. Need for Speed 2015. My dream car, Dodge Viper. GTS. Blue with white stripes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Indy Kart Racers, you know. We're just, like, sh just shitty kart racers. When the wild animal racing stream, shut up. I played that game once, I'm never touching it again. Honestly, I can't even call it Big Rigs a game, because a game be it has to have some kind of programming involved. The only thing they programmed in that game was a HUD and a vehicle that you can move. Kinda. NASCAR 07's last great NASCAR game. No. 
I'm gonna have to say no. I'm not saying Heat Evolution was amazing, but I, I think it was pretty damn good. And plus, uh, ooh, I'm really excited about Heat 2. Like, Heat 2 looks like it's gonna be good. Honestly, uh, what I'm seeing from Heat 2, although I am excited for NASCAR Heat 2, it makes me even more excited for next year's NASCAR game. Because if F if uh, the three most recent F1 games, counting 2017, is anything to go by, next year's NASCAR game is going to be fucking incredible. Because, like, you know, the first year they got the foundation, you know, set. Second year they add more features and stuff, and then the third year they flesh out everything and just go balls to the wall with quality. That's basically what the F1 2015 through 2017 saga has been. I kind of have the same feeling as what it's going to be for the NASCAR Heat reboot. Well, not really reboot, but I guess, like, resurface, resurrection, whatever. I don't fuck, I know. Dude, if they made an Astro game with, like, regional series, that'd be also be awesome. Just have, like, the full spectrum of NASCAR in one fucking video game. I'd honestly be absolutely down for that. The swipe. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. Not talking to me. Never mind. Have I watched BTCC before? I used to watch, like, random races when they aired on Speed Channel way back in the day. Of, like, well over a decade ago. Other than that, I have very limited uh, exposure to BTCC. BTCC is cool, though. I like touring car racing. Touring cars and saloon racing. Really good. And, of course, GT. Yeah. Which should I prefer? Classic, retro, or modern muscle cars? Uh, yeah. All of them. Hey, Lynx. Alright, anyways, round sunset bin for the final time. Esposito ruining the M show. Because it's Esposito, he has to ruin everything. Ever eat late night cheeseburger Doritos? That's a flavor? What the fuck? Also, no. Have I watched 2006 ALMS before? I probably did in 2006. I don't remember anything about it, but, yeah. Okay, one by seven seconds of Rossi, Taylor Esposito... And there's the rest of the finishing order, so... What's that, two races to go now? Alright, here we go, race six at Road Atlanta. So... Yeah, Middle Ohio doesn't get enough love, most sport doesn't get enough love either. Which means, which is gonna be aw as well, awesome as well, because you get to drive trucks around most sport. <laughs> Heat too! Oh my God, Weber! Excuse you! Jesus Christ! Suck my balls! Oh, hey, test drive. Um, what other tracks are we gonna get in Heat Two now? Because of the other two national series that are awesome. There's Road at America, which is an awesome track that does get love and, you know, representation in games, which is nice. But still, Road America, fuck yeah. Um, Eldora. I'm really looking forward to racing around Eldora. 
Because Eldor is fucking cool. Eldor truck race used to be like, like when it first, when it was first, uh, hang on, I'm trying to figure out how to word this correctly. Like the first two truck Eldor races were so goddamn good. Unfortunately, it's kind of declined in quality the past couple years just because everyone keeps spinning forever. But the first two Eldor races were fucking amazing. Well, at least the first one. I can't remember if the second one was that as good. Oh yeah, Iowa Speedway is going to be in Heat 2 as well. That's another good track. Uh, let's see, what else is going to be there? Um, isn't Gateway like a current track? Did they race at Gateway? Is Gateway on the 2017 schedule? I can't even remember. I hope so, because Gateway is cool. I've only seen Gateway in, uh, fucking Toka. <laughs> Race Driver 3, I think. Gateway is a truck track. Fuck yeah, we're getting Gateway. Um. There's another Wallace. It's not related to any of the other NASCAR Wallaces. Yeah, Daryl Bubba Wallace. He's a cool dude. He's a good driver and he is, yeah. He's got like the best bromance with Ryan Blaney and they're cool dudes. I like them. Which, by the way, I'm kind of happy that Ryan Blaney is getting a uh, seat in Penske next year. Because as much as I love the Wood Brothers, and I love seeing Blaney and the Wood Brothers, Penske is definitely going to give them more opportunities for winning. And I want to see Blaney succeed, because he's one of my boys. The best Need for Speed game for PS4. Well, considering there's only, like, what, two available right now, and that's Rivals and 2015? Absolutely Rivals, because 2015 is shit. Did we get through all the cool tracks that are going to be in Heat 2? I think we did. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I started playing through Horizon 2 last night, Test Drive. It's fun. Will Parmenard have any success at Wood Brothers? Um... I don't know, I think, I think Menard, Menard just kind of like, he's there. He has those like one or two races a year where he does really well. And like contends at least for a top five, maybe if not a win. But... I think he'll do alright with Wood Brothers. I can see him consistently getting like top 20s. In the 21. for 360 version of Horizon 2 backwards compatible. Oh, well then. If that's the case, why not just get the Xbox One game? Like, come on. Favorite, most hated, and neutral Sonic games. Um. Hmm. Well, my most favorite Sonic game is Sonic 3 & Knuckles, because it's my favorite game of all time. But, uh... Uh, my least favorite Sonic game is... 06. Of course, I haven't played any of the Seuss Boob games yet. Although I want to. I mean, the 3DS games look at least, like, enjoyable, but... You know, the Wii U game looks... I, I don't need to tell you how about that game. You already know. Um, as far as, like, the most neutral opinions on a game, fucking I don't know. 
That's kind of a weird thing to think. Um, maybe Shadow? Because Shadow was an alright game. I had fun playing it, but it's... It's a silly game. It's way too edgy. But I still like playing it. That's, that's what I got. <laughs> Edge. Favorite Sonic Heroes team? Uh, team Dark. Actually, uh, I don't know. I'm torn between Team Dark and Chaotix, because Chaotix are cool, even though Charmy's an annoying little shit. But I like Vector and I really like Espio. Espio's like a really cool character. Um And then Team Dark because I'm an edgy fucker that likes anti heroes. I don't know what is what it's with me and anti heroes, but I really like them. In pretty much every medium. I've completely forgot what I was talking about. Help. Hey, we've got one lap left here. Road to Atlanta. Almost said America. Favorite actor and actor I want to meet in real life? Oh, okay, now we're tre treading into territory that I don't even have answers to. Because I don't know who my favorite... I, I don't have a favorite actor. I don't really have any... Well, I... Mm, you see, that's a difficult question. Because technically, pro wrestling requires acting. So... Through that loophole, I can say Rosemary. <laughs> it's my favorite actor, and also the actor I want to meet the most. So, hey... Fucking loopholes, man. <laughs> CK boys knew what I was gonna fucking come up to. Or what I was up to. Yeah. Had that answer for you, thought it. Shut up, K boys. <laughs> I can't help that I'm predictable as fuck. Anyways... About to finish our sixth race here of seven. And once again, dominant fashion. Hey, we have the M show again, except this time every fucking M driver. We, we have the M sweep of the AI drivers. Look at that shit. That is incredible. That's fucking ridiculous. Has Forza 8 been leaked yet? Eh, give it two years. It'll be out. It's, it's a cycle. Okay, finale of this series takes us to Sonoma for six laps. If I don't win this race by uh, more than 20 seconds, I'll be surprised. Like, legit surprised. Ever played any Bejeweled games? Mm, can't say that I have. And I'm not really into puzzle oh, games. How you fucking doing? Taylor. Um. Oh, squeeze. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Alright, anyways. Oh, we're doing the NASCAR course, I just realized. But, um. 
Did I ever 100% Midnight Club LA? No, I didn't. Uh, well, oh yeah, puzzle games. Never. Yeah, not really into puzzle games. The only puzzle games I like ever played was uh, uh, I had columns for the Sega Genesis when I was a child. I don't know how, don't know why, but I had it and I pl used to play that and be absolutely fucking awful at it. I also see a test drive. Um, and uh, I did have Pokemon Puzzle Challenge, I think it, the Game Boy Color version is. I used to play that. Bone skin, not good at it, because I'm not good at puzzles and games and, like, quick thinking like that. Remember uh, a long time ago, like, when the PSP was new and Luminous is, and, like, Luminous was, like, one of the first, like, really cool, good games for it? I wanted to get that and try it out, but I never did. Favorite band... And least favorite band? Oh, come on. Uh, well, least favorite, I don't know because I don't. I really don't give a shit about things I don't like. Well, music I don't like. Um, and don't give a shit to think about it. But, um. As far as favorite band, uh. That's hard. That's it's hard for me to pick just one, cause like for the longest time I would just say Chevelle, but now I'm just like, uh, I don't know. It's like there's Chevelle, there's Devin Townsend Project, there's fucking Periphery. Um, like Metallica, Avenged Sevenfold, Psycho Stick, Monuments. Intervolt, way too fucking many bands. Brendan Small, Death Clock, you know. It's hard to pick just one. <clears throat> When's the next Earth Daytona episode? That game is done, so never. Okay, lap three. What is my lead over Taylor? He's taking a very commanding second place. Nine seconds. All right, we are definitely on pace to meet to uh meet my fucking prediction. Oh shit! What am I doing? Yeah, I remember when I said I'd go through every season Dirt to Town, and then I realized there's no point in doing that. There's absolutely no point in doing that. It's like, I've already done everything. Like, the only thing that I had didn't show in Dirt to Daytona was a fucking all-time winner list that you see, or all-time cup winner list that you see at the end of the 25th season of Career Mode. Ooh. So, you know. Yeah, that's another one of my favorite bands, Crush 40. Forgot about them for a moment. Oh, no, there's no point in doing any, most of the things I do in my LPs, but still. There's no point in me playing video games, Q. There's no point in me doing anything, ever. <laughs> oh god.
atmosphere of Sonic shows, considering the only Sonic shows I like actively watched at any point in my life were uh, uh, fucking Adventures and Sonic X. Uh, fucking Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog is great. Sonic X, at the time, I thought it was good, and then I look back on it and I was like, wow, this was shit. That was shit. So, yeah. I've seen a couple episodes of Sonic Boom. It's good. I fucking love that clip from one episode. His fucking Knuckles just goes full on logic bomb with a on Amy. The whole feminism thing. It's like, the show is so self-aware, I love it. I like when shows are dumb and also self-aware. As to the hilarity of the comedy, IMO. Anyways. Ever played Ape Escape before? No, I haven't. I've seen like a couple speedruns of like a couple uh, Ape Escape games, but I've never actually played any. Look, I have a 20 second lead. What and shock. Told you I was gonna win by 20 seconds. There's a Pingus reference in Sonic Boom? Oh god. I need to see that. Dude, Ed and Eddie's the greatest cartoon ever. I don't even, I don't even care. Ed, Ed and Eddie's great. I fucking love it. I love me some good slapstick. Okay, one more lap. I thought that was the end of the race. Nope. God, one more lap here at Sonoma. Hello, sliding. Yes, I would like a link to that, K-Boys. Facebook games, especially in nowadays. Seriously, fuck that shit. Oh, careful, don't hit the pit wall. That'd be stupid. I was in pit walls, just a wall. Okay, and around the final corner. Finally in the race. And the series. And now we wait on the M show. Except Nakamura's behind Anderson. Come on, Nakamura, you can do it. Give him the good old Kinshasa into the hairpin. You can do this. Oh, shit. He's going for it. He went for the Kinshasa. I think he got it. One by 26 seconds. Oh, damn it. No. Come on, Nakamura. You can do this. I believe in you. Fucking stop teasing me. Jesus Christ. Taylor beat Rossi by nine seconds. Aww. So close. Didn't quite get him. Damn. Oh well. Okay, well, there's that. So... Least favorite Forza. Of the ones I've actually played, so excluding uh, Horizon 3 and Motorsport 5, uh, Motorsport 6. The AI in that game is just atrocious. Anyways... 
there's the uh, Class E International Tour complete, so with that, we shall move on to the Class D International Tour in the next segment. Stay tuned for more Forza. Forza. 